Good morning, my angels. It's Wednesday. Yay, we're halfway there. Hump day. Wonderful Wednesday. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about the Maya history, basically how they established their, their little city, right? And their political views, their social aspects, the geography, and then how the Aztecs took that information and utilized it to their benefit. We'll learn about the rise and the fall based on um, the Spaniards coming in and taking over the territory interesting interesting subject so we i kind of give you a little glimpse of what the aztecs were like and the human sacrifices the floating gardens um uh their engineering aspects oh my god the engineering abilities that they had based on visual aspects it was all done visually yes there was math involved but for the most part it was a visual sense and their system, they set up aqueducts, these floating islands. And I mean, it was the engineering madness. And they, I think that many people have actually learned from the Aztecs and, and the, the engineering tools that were used. Now, keep in mind, the tools were either rope or thousands of men pushing these rocks, gathering the mud from the ground, from the water, building it up and making these floating islands because they needed gardens and they used what they could to survive. And it, it just baffles me to this day. Like I am amazed and I can't wait to teach you this today. I'm excited. I've been thinking about it all weekend long. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna learn about the Aztecs. So you're really, uh, what I would like to, for you to do is to think about how today, because Mexico is set up today where the Aztecs used to be, right? So the Aztecs settled in the Valley of Mexico. So this would be in Mexico City. Um, the chieftain named Tenoch, um, he's the one that actually sent, um, they had been banished from other places because they were known to be not, not the best of people because of their sacrifices. They believed in the God of fertility, the God of the sun, and you know, these, these, these things, especially the sun, is what continue to give them life every day. And we learned that they they thank the sun by using these human still beating hearts, right? Thanking the sun for the harvest, for the guard, for the food, for daylight, and and even the moon. Like everything was a, a like grace towards the gods. And so they had these social aspects, these religious views that really didn't make sense to a lot of people and they were banished. So this is how they ended up here in the Valley of Mexico. Now, Tenoch, he actually, it is said, now this is, there's myth and there's legend and there's true aspects. So, you know, we're gathering information based on what is written. And, you know, some of it is a little mystical, you know, it's, is it true? Is it not true? But Either way, it's history and it's amazing history. It's just a great story. So the the rumor is that he had a dream that he had he had been told that he's to go look for this eagle that was perched on the cactus with the snake in its mouth. Sure enough, this is what he visioned, and this is what you will notice on the Mexican flag, right? So they actually settled in the uh, middle of a lake called Texcoco. In the dream, he was told to again to look for this, look for this eagle. Now, when they land, when they built this city, remember his name is Tenoch, so they named it Tenochtitlan. Uh, so the land of Tenoch really is what it is, the city of Tenoch. So it is the reason the eagle perched on the cactus is part of the Mexican flag. This is more what they symbolize. Uh, if we look at this map, we'll analyze it today and kind of look at their ingenious ways, right? I'm just baffled by this. And this morning I was watching it as I was getting ready and I was like, wow, God, I wish I could show my kids this video because it's so amazing. So I may just add it. It's a 44 minute video. It's uh, from the History Channel, but I, I think I'm going to add it just so you could maybe see it at your own time. Don't see it today, but maybe watch it at your own time just to get that information. It's, it's fascinating. 
All right, so it was very hard to build the Nectic land because the Aztecs only had a small piece of land in the surrounding swamps. So it's all swampy, right? All marshy. So what they did is they created these floating islands. And this and these islands, if you look at this picture, you'll see a bunch of little islands where they gathered the mud and they built the island up. And these islands is how they created their their agriculture this is how they lived so it's called chinampas okay so uh i think i need to fix that that should be an h all right so we will learn about that today um and then we'll talk a little bit about here comes hernando cortez come to find out now look at his picture he's a little older here but come to find out that while he's planning to explore i found out today he was only 18 years old Again, mind blown, right? So um, let's think of, you know, you have people that are coming into your new land and you don't know who they are. You see all these big ships coming towards you. Now, it is said that the uh, the Aztecs, when they saw the the ships coming in, they called them moving mountains, the montañas que se están moviendo, right? The moving mountains. And they, because they had never seen anything like that. All of a sudden you have these pale skinned men coming off the ship and 500 or more, they come with all their armor. They even come with animals that the Aztecs had never seen like horses. So they were very fascinated by them. Obviously they welcome them. They uh, embrace them as their guests. But then obviously here comes uh, Cortez that has a mind. He's thinking something else. He's like, well, we're going to have to figure out a way to take over this land and really he ends up taking over um the land by kidnapping uh, king montezuma and it's a, a great story we will talk about that some more today okay uh this is what the floating gardens look like that's not the exact one but it's a little bit like that and again they irrigated canals they built bridges but maybe mainly those aqueducts very fascinating okay Super simple. And then today you're going to have this Aztecs assignment. Now, what I did is I added, um, you're going to answer the questions based on uh, floating, uh, matching. Okay. And look at the reading that I've attached. Let me go back. Should be here somewhere. I can't see it now. Oh, it's all in. Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. It's all in the PowerPoint. Okay. All right. So please do that today. I hope that you'll come to my Zoom class because it's going to be an amazing Maya history day. I can't wait to see you. See you in a bit.